Welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to be working out is legs and the best exercise in the world is the squat. And if you're not able to do the squat, the next big thing, best thing would be the uh, uh, leg press. Um, and you can still develop uh, great legs with the leg press. But when it comes down to core stabilization, stabilizing your core, your overall body uh, strength, this is where it starts at, the squat. And this is another thing that I do when I'm at home. Uh, I like this particular uh, rack here. It goes with a uh, separate bench uh, that I use for this, that actually goes with this. But it'll also work with this bench right here as far as uh, flat bench presses. It won't be able to do the inclines and stuff uh, like it like it should be able to. But the other bench I got, it'll, it'll allow you to do to do the uh, inclines. But this thing right here is adjustable to anyone's height. It's a little bit better than uh, using the uh, wood, the uh, four by four wood stalks that I use to do squats with, and it'll hold just as much weight. Uh, and still get the job done. But this is how I start off. I start off with the bar like I tell you before with anything. I start off with the bar. Shoulder width apart. Squat down. One. And when I start off like this, it's kind of hard for me to get all the way down. I need the weight to kind of force everything into compliance. That right there is always my warm up. I don't do any stretching or anything like that. Uh, I always warm up with the weight that I'm working out with. I'm gonna start off with this uh, 45 on each side like I normally do. And I normally do this in uh, Three steps. I normally uh, do three, four to five, but again, I'm stuck with the minimum amount of weight I have here. I don't have all my weights here, and I'm gonna have to make do with that. But this is how I normally do. This is how I pyramid up in weight when it comes down to legs. Shoulder width apart, down. And as you can see, when you got something to put your weights on, it make it a little easier to do the exercise. All right, now I'm gonna move up to this 35. And we're gonna do it again. Once I make it to my my third weight, I'll pyramid, pyramid my way back down to the beginning, like I've shown you before. And that's the best way that I found to uh, avoid injury and at the same time 
get a lot of blood into your legs. Pyramid up the third time. Now I done added the 25. And we're going to grind out another few reps and then we'll start our way back down. We're going to go on the fourth set. At this point, I'm going to drop the reps down to five or six because now I'm going to be uh, practicing the power part of the squats on my way back down. The weight is going to feel heavier than it did when I first started because now I'm a little bit windy. Leg shoulder wheel. <coughs> All right. That's number four down. And I always take as much rest as you need to be able to successfully do your next set. If you don't do that, you're not going to have enough wind to do the exercise properly. And even at the, these lighter weights, you, uh, you'll be risking injury. Now to move down one plate, even though you can do more reps, I still don't do it because again, it's like I said, uh, the second version of this is working on the power of the exercise and trying to keep your, uh, your uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your balance with the weight. You're trying to, for lack of a better word, your balance. You're trying to keep the uh, balancing of your uh, core and everything. You're still practicing. You're practicing for the heavy and heavy weights on this second version. That's what you're doing. Even though it's lighter, you still want to stay within the five, the six rep range on this second set, on this second. Uh, uh, portion of the down uh, pyramid and down. All right, let's go. Right. 
And again, I always take as much rest as necessary to complete the set. All right, now I'm back down to the single 45. I'm gonna grind out another five. And that should be it for my leg workout. Basic, straight to the point. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about today. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.